So uh, we're in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia, and we just met with some members of the North Central West Virginia Lyme Disease Support Group. And um, they fed me some West Virginia smoked ribs, which were amazing. And then I got to listen to some very powerful and just clear-sighted um, testimonies. You know, this is kind of the point of the trip where I get to reflect and make sense of everything and, you know, kind of tell you some of the revelations I've made. Um, but I, I think it's more important that you just listen to what was said to me earlier. It takes a long time to recover from something that you've had for a long time. Um, and I believe very much it was, there was an, an analogy given to me a long time ago that it's like peeling an onion. And if you do it all at once, you're going to kill, kill a person mm -hmm. uh, and make you very, very sick and actually put you in a worse state. But if you do it a layer at a time, then, then you actually can survive. Um, and this is why I understand that it's chronic. I understand that once you are you know, in tertiary, tertiary phase, once you have so many co-infections with it that you can't really sort out one from the, from, from the next, that yes, okay, chronic, but for me, I won't accept chronic because in my mind that's stagnation. Mm -hmm. And it means it's forever. Well, I'm going to keep peeling that onion until there's absolutely nothing. And I completely intend to live my new life. As a pharmaceutical rep, I do sometimes, being in a position of not having 100% health, wonder how broken some of our system is without talking politics or any of that kind of stuff. I mean, it is kind of alarming that if you have acne, you can get as many antibiotics as you want for your face. Mm -hmm. But if you have Lyme disease, all of a sudden it becomes this big taboo thing that I didn't even know about until it happened to me. I mean, luckily I was under the care of a family physician that I was able to get that treatment. But I think a lot of Lyme patients, antibiotics aren't necessarily the answer for everybody. And like I said, um, the least expensive thing that I took was antibiotics. I went to a clinic this summer in Florida I was telling you about, that cost me 70 grand. Um, and it's not necessarily we need these antibiotics paid for, we need this paid for, I need something paid for. My advocacy is um, just helping others, um, networking, and we have a support group locally here and um, I actually work for a physician um, who will treat Lyme disease and I help other people, I give them support. Mm -hmm. um, I listen a lot to what people experience and I tell them what I went through and so I think it helps other people knowing someone else has been through it yeah. and how to encourage them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how important do you think that support system is for someone going through Lyme disease? I think it's very important because you feel alone when you're sick um, and you feel like you've got this weird disease and not many people have heard of it mm -hmm. and then um, you just need someone else to talk to so that you know you're not alone and someone else that understands your pain yeah. and your tiredness and all the medicine you have to take mm -hmm. and um, that's good for all of us yeah. um, to have someone that we can talk to.